Our Macs are extremely complex machines, but are uniquely designed for even the most difficult projects to be a breeze. Now, while things like keyboard shortcuts can make typing or making commands faster than ever, a little known feature with your trackpad called Hot Corners can make doing everyday actions fast and easy as well. So here's how to use them. Hot Corners make gestures made on your trackpad perform specific actions while on your Mac, and can be found under the Mission Control tab under System Preferences. By flicking your finger across the trackpad into each different corner, a new action can be done. What's nice is that there's a pretty good array of actions for users to select from, put your display to sleep, start up your screensaver, even show your desktop and more. And I mean there's four different corners you can set up so you can pick your favorites and set them up with just a few short clicks. Once you've selected your actions for your corner, all you have to do is click OK and you'll find that when you flick your finger across the trackpad into the designated corner, the action you set up will take place just like that. Now I use Hot Corners all the time because it's one of the most convenient and quickest ways to put my display to sleep. Most of the time your hand is almost always on the trackpad anyway, so why not set up Hot Corners to help you do what you want faster than before. Start using Hot Corners on your Mac and you're sure to enjoy an even better experience while on it. And while you're at it, you can check out more cool tips and how to's right here on coltomac.com. Well, there you go. There's a look at how you can start using Hot Corners while on your Mac. But I want to know, do you use Hot Corners or not? Be sure to let me know on Twitter at JustJoshua123 or go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. And if you liked the video, go ahead and do me a favor and click that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to see more awesome videos posted like this seven days a week. This has been Joshua Smith of ColtonMac.com.